Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I've got an Ulta haul, but today I'm going to do it kind of try on style. And this is more of a haul review because I have been trying these for a few weeks. So I'll be able to kind of give you my opinion on them already and show you what they look like when you apply them. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen me use some of these. Some of them, I, I try to keep some things hush hush so it's like you're not feeling like you're always seeing the exact same products if you also watch me get ready on Snapchat. So any hoozle, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm feeling like kind of in a bad mood today and I'm hoping that filming puts me in a good mood. Like I'm just moody, just moody. But if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Let's Go Crazy. This I got in my uh, Sephora Play unboxing, uh, or box I should say. I just put up uh, a little while ago and I, I just really like it. And this formula, it's really thin so it, I don't know, like it's just comfortable and it's not, it's more like a lipstick than it is like a matte, you know, lipstick kind of a thing. I don't know how else to describe it, but it definitely is matte. It's, it's nice. It's nice. I have a lot of makeup. I've got a couple palettes, some concealers, some liner, some primer, some foundation, some body care. I've got a lot of stuff. So, oh, and a mascara. So let's go ahead and get into it. Did I already say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's start with what's on my eyes today. This is what put me in a bad mood. And I've been using this for a few weeks. It's the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves Shadow Palette. This has five eyeshadows in it. They're all matte. Um, they're all that kind of mauve pinky tone. And it, you know, fades from light to dark. Great concept. I love how sleek it is. They've got a couple of these. Here's the thing. I don't know why this put me in such a bad mood. I felt like I couldn't get my outer corners even, so then I was getting mad, so then I was applying more of lighter colors and that wasn't even blending in at all. So then I'd pack on more of the dark colors and that really, it still wasn't even. So I don't think it's necessarily a fault of the palette. I think it's just user error. I'm a ding dong and I'm, I, I'm used to my comfort zone of palettes and colors. And this like kind of pinkish purple is just a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So, I don't know, it's just taking trial and error. But other days when I didn't dip into the darker colors, like these lighter colors, I really did like. Um, so, I use pretty much every single color for this eye look today, and I use the darker one on my lower lash line as well. So, I like it. The formula is good enough that it intrigues me to buy maybe one more of their like little sets they have. Maybe they have like two other ones. So I would be willing to try maybe one more of these. Maybe one that's, you know, like if I get one that's more browns, I might be a little more comfortable. You guys know what I mean? Um, sometimes I feel like when I put pinks and purples on my eyes, it can make me look even more tired and just, I don't know. Like that's like seeing myself in the viewfinder. I'm like, I just don't think I like it. I think lashes help. You know what I mean? Like little things like that can help it. But I just don't think on my skin tone, I don't know. It's just my own opinion. Um, I hope it looks okay. I mean, that's really what I'm trying to say, I guess. But So I liked it. If you know this color scheme is up your alley, go for it. If it's not, I would say maybe try one of the other ones because I do think the formula of these is great. I repurchased my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I forgot about how good this stuff is. And, you know, with all of the hype between behind so many concealers right now, I feel like concealer is really big. And, well, it's probably always been big, but every company is trying to come out with an amazing concealer which is fantastic because it's something I use every single day every single day um, so in all that shuffle I'd forgotten about this so I repurchased it I have it in the shade NW15 and it works really well I think that was the shade I had last time but it's got a little tiny pump and what I'll do is I'll just well usually I'll just pump it onto my fingers and just tap it there and then use a sponge to blend it in it's it's it settles and decreases as much as any other concealer does, but this is so brightening and I do feel like it tends to mesh really well with other foundations. And lately as I'm trying more and more concealers, I'm really realizing that some of them as I'm blending them in, when where they kind of meet the foundation, this area can look really weird and textured, um, but this does not do that and I really appreciate that. And this is something, you know, you can use this anywhere on your face, like anything, and I just like it. I feel like it stays on really well and I'm really glad to have it again my collection. This, however, I'm not wearing today, the concealer I'm wearing today. Well, first I started with the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. 
I got in the shade number one. This was supposed to be replacing erase paste. This is not erase paste. Erase paste was much thicker, almost not goopy, but it's the same tone, but it is not erase paste. So that's okay, but erase paste was really good because it's this salmon color at canceling out like purple, blue tones. So I would always use it like right here. And I haven't had it in years. And so I was like, well, let me just try this. The packaging's super cute. It is really kind of like lightweight. Um, it feels kind of cheap, but it's still cute. I don't know. But what I did is I applied it just on my inner corners. And I do think it brightens the area. And it cancels out some of the blue. I just tapped it in with my fingers on one side and a sponge on the other. And I do think it works best with fingers. Now, would I want to put this all over? No. I've tried it a couple times that way. And it, it's just a little bit too emollient to stick and stay. And so, for that reason, I tried the other concealer I also bought, which is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage that so many people are raving about. I was so excited to try it. And I was very, very, very impressed. So I bought it in the shade 10 Porcelain. And it's just a doe foot, and I just kind of applied it right under my eye, like normal, use the sponge to blend it out. And this stuff has surprising coverage surprising coverage it does settle into fine lines but not as bad as a lot of other ones so for that reason i've reached for it a lot over the past two weeks that's about when i started using this one and i just i really like it it looks really really nice now comparing the catrice to the mac i think they're very similar coverage wise i do think the mac one again meshes better with foundation i do think the catrice one can sometimes give like weird areas but not enough that i wouldn't recommend it and not enough that i'm not wanting to use it because i still really really like it so definitely would recommend especially for the price point one of the best i found at the drugstore easily let's talk about this product that i love but boy this is going to take some learning it's a learning curve this is the tarte tartus pro lash adhesive i was not aware that it was black that this glue is black what a great idea because if you're, you know, wanting that dark line right at your lashes, which if you're using fake lashes, you probably do, um, it's, you know, it, it's darker so you don't feel like you have to go over it with like another liner on top after the glue is dried. Well, when I was putting this lash on today, I didn't realize it. So this truly was the first time I was using it because I don't wear fake lashes every day. I'm just wearing them when I film. Anyway, um, so I'm going to swatch it, if you will. It is black. But what I loved is that I could just hold on to the lash, brush this on, and I know there are other brands that make brush on adhesive. But once I put it on, the problem I found, and this is where I say this is gonna be a learning curve kind of a product. The problem I found was it's great that it's black, but you have to be careful. I had like a couple sputters of black like right up on my lid. So I had to remove all that eyeshadow, put the eyeshadow back on, and it's still, if you could see me really, really close, you can still see it. And not only that, but once I actually got it on there and set, some of the glue would get up into, because it's so liquidy, I don't know how else to explain it. I've not experienced this with a lash glue yet, um, that it would get up and up in the lashes, and they were all stuck together. So I was trying to hold the lashes on and brush through them. That was difficult. Um, so by the time I got to this lash, I was a little bit better at it, and I knew, I okay, I need to wait a little bit longer because it takes just a little bit longer to get tacky. And then I set it right on and it did a great job. One thing I do like about this, and it's a little dangerous, you have to be careful. Because if you read the side of the bottle, it says, avoid contact with eyes. I'm like, uh, <laughs> it gets like right by your eye. But while trying to avoid contact with eye, and I did successfully do this, one of the corners had come up. So I was able to just kind of brush this on like liquid liner and then just hold the lash down for 30 seconds and it's stuck. So it certainly makes it easy to apply. I did end up going back over it with liquid liner just to get it all even, but it definitely was black. There was no weird whiteness showing through like some glues will do, and that alone was pretty cool. So I do like it. If you're in need of one and you like the idea of a brush, I would say it is worth the money. I could see myself as I get better at this, buying this again. So another product I bought is the NYX Hydra Touch Oil Primer. Now this I'm actually testing today as a dupe for, well, I'm not testing it. I showed it on camera. 
Um, so I'll show you me applying it to half of my face because I was doing the dupe on the other side. But this is, in my opinion, absolutely a great dupe for the Smashbox Primer Oil. Much, much cheaper. Guys, it is the exact same effect. It is the exact same effect. Now, I don't view primer oils like this so much as like skincare. So while I would believe that some of the ingredients might be different, I haven't looked. But the ingredients might be different because the Smashbox one is more expensive. But I'm using this more just for the moisture effect and the look that it gives and less so for skincare purposes. Does that make sense? Um, so if I were to dig deeper and see, I wouldn't be surprised if there were like different ingredients and maybe NYX is using cheaper ones. I could also see them having the exact same ingredients and Smashbox charging more because they're a name brand. You know what I mean? Well, so is NYX, but you guys know what I mean. A more expensive brand. Regardless, I was very impressed with this. So if you've been dying to try like the Smashbox one, don't go for the NYX. It's the same thing. Absolutely the same thing. I could have blindfolded, put these on and had no idea which one was which. And if you're curious, not that you can like see it, but this side of my face is what has the NYX primer oil and this side has the Smashbox. And I'm sure you cannot tell a difference. Of course, it's underneath foundation and powder. <laughs> Speaking of foundation, what I'm wearing today is the new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. When I saw this, I was like, what? Because the It Cosmetics CC Cream is basically like a full coverage moisturizer. I have realized these are a little bit different. In my opinion, their difference is that this has slightly less coverage. I do think the CC cream has more coverage. Um, but other than that, I mean, the packaging is virtually exactly the same. When I saw this, I thought they were discontinuing the CC cream and renaming it. And I was really nervous. I'm like, oh no, did they tweak the formula? Please don't touch the formula. The CC cream is like the, is perfect the way it is. Um, they just need tons more shades. Same for this. But I do like this. So today I applied it half with my hands and half with the sponge. I think you can go either way with this. I think you do get a little more coverage with your hands. Um, but what I would find myself doing is I would still, even on like days where I did my whole face with my hands, I would still grab a sponge and kind of blend certain areas. You know, like I get weird right around here and around my nose. Here's the thing. This is not something I can leave without setting. Um, it looks very not greasy, but I mean, it looks like a moisturizer on, which is an awesome idea. And I would much rather look oily and dewy than dry and scaly. <laughs> I would, I feel like most people would say that. I don't know. Some people love like that matte look though. And I, I, I'm not, I don't. <laughs> anyway, this, I feel like I do like, but I don't know if I love it enough that I would repurchase it. Also this shade, well, I guess it worked. I was gonna say, I feel like every time I look at it, I'm like, it's a little dark. But for something that's just a full coverage moisturizer, I don't feel like I want to be like, well, let me add a custom cover drop and make sure it's the right shade. I mean, I will and I have, but I guess what I'm saying is if it's supposed to be really low maintenance, I want to find a shade that's perfect. I feel like this is fine though. I'm getting off on a rant. If you are someone that you want something similar to a tinted moisturizer, really, really easy, but that has a lot more coverage, this is totally going to be your jam because it's easy to apply, it blends in quickly, and it definitely has more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. Now, if you have problem zones, like for me, it's my nose. When I would look at it afterwards, I'm like, oh my gosh, you can see all the redness peeping through. But the rest of my face, for the most part, was fine. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. So for me, I just ended up taking my nose and putting powder foundation on it. And that covered it and I was done. So I do like it. I still like the CC cream better. Next product I bought and have been trying out is the Essence Cushion Liner. This is something that I actually showed in another like trying new makeup video. This is literally a cushion filled with liquid liner. So it's not a gel or cream liner. However, you can use it with like for me, I have a very specific Mac brush, the Mac 263, I'll link it, that I love to use with liquid liner or with gel liner. So when I dip it in this, I can still get that precision I like with it, but it's really quick to apply because it's a liquid. So it's just choo -choo 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 -choo. So that's what I use today, and I, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm curious to see how quickly this dries out. I think I said that in the last video too. But regardless, I really, really like it. I've really been enjoying using it because it's quick. The mascara I'm wearing, and of course I put on lashes, but you can see the mascara in my um, like kind of try-on that I'll show you here in a sec. This is the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. This actually came free with my order. It was something, I, it was some promotion they were doing. It was just full, full size, free pretty impressed with this. This 
it lengthens, it curls, it darkens, it has some volume. This is something that I felt comfortable wearing on its own. Like a lot of times I'll mix mascaras or whatever. Um, and of course, like I said, I put on lashes today because I'm filming a bunch, but this is beautiful on its own. It really is. It reminds me of like the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara mixed with the Lash Paradise. It's like if you mix those two, you'd get this because they like the L'Oreal Voluminous, I do think is really volumizing and really black. Lash Paradise, I think, has it all. And this one's kind of somewhere in between. And so I do like it. I could see myself, I mean, I will definitely use this up. Another product I got is from Tarte. It's their Make Magic Happen palette. This was a huge letdown. I was looking at the colors online and I thought, oh yeah, those are like totally up my alley. I would use every single one of these colors. And I thought it was cool. I like how the shadows are really close to each other. Doesn't really waste any space. It's got a big mirror, really compact, cute. Well, it's got some matte shadows that are kind of almost satin matte. But these do, these are, they're, I don't even know how to, like, it's okay. I put a little bit of like one of the champagne shimmers on my eyes and even the shimmers are almost matte. Like they almost look like satin. So I don't know, like, I feel like it's okay. It's not like, so bad that I would say don't ever buy it even if it's on clearance well but kind of though now that I'm saying that out loud because the reality is the five times I've used this to try to do a look it looked the same no matter what even if I would use the dark colors I would not use the dark colors it would all blend away nothing was super shimmery nothing was super matte it was just like a weird wash of color no matter what I was using it is the craziest thing if you've if you have used this Comment below with your experience because it's just odd. And so while I do think like the wash of color would look kind of pretty, it was always the same. So I'm like, well, then I don't need a whole palette. I just need like one or two shadows that, you know? And so for me, I'm like, you know, this was still expensive. I, I regret it. I regret it. So I don't know. Like I, I literally look at this and I'm like, oh, you feel that like in the pit of your stomach, you're like, oh. And you want to use it, but you're like, I don't though, because I know exactly what it's going to look like. I don't know. So let me know if you loved this. Like, I guess I could apply the shadows wet, but these, even the shimmers, like I said, aren't like that punchy shimmer. So this would be ideal, I guess, for the girl or guy who really likes just like a very whew, neutral, simple look every single time. Otherwise, I just don't think you need it. I really don't. I have one more makeup item and then I have two body products I'm really excited to tell you about. They're drugstore ones and I've fallen head over heels. <laughs> so uh, firstly though, the NYX Total Control, Control Drops I've been trying. I've tried this a couple ways and my favorite way to use it for my skin type, which is normal to dry, is mix in with the foundation. I have noticed I've tried to compare it to like my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and while I know that this is meant to be more of a standalone foundation, it totally works as like a foundation shade changer. However, it does, because it is more of a foundation formula, it does adjust the look, not just the color, but the actual finished look of any foundation you mix it with. So um, I tried it mixed with like moisturizer and I that's okay. It, it kind of ends up looking kind of like a tinted moisturizer-ish. Um, and I've also tried it alone and I didn't like it alone. I'm not a big fan of really liquidy foundations though for myself. I'm not sure why they always end up like illuminating every dry patch under the sun for me, but I know a lot of people do like that kind of a thing. So, um, I would recommend it as a really inexpensive shade lightener darkener, but with the caveat and the knowledge that it will adjust the foundation's formula a bit. Um, not necessarily in a bad way, but like some of them I would mix with and I'm like, ooh, this was a foundation I loved and I don't like what it looks like now. And then other ones I'd mix and I'm like, oh, that looks fine. So it's just kind of a hit or miss, but I do think it's a nice inexpensive option for that. Okay, the body products. Okay, I had never heard of this. Somebody stop me if you have. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. Oh my gosh. So apparently this was like a, an allure beauty winner for, I don't know, some year, very recent. Like it's a newer product. Um, this stuff is so cool. So you put it on your face and you kind of leave it on for 60 seconds while you're showering. So usually I'll, you know, I don't know, shave or all, whatever. And it, you, it's got little like kind of 
almost like little sand granules, if you will, but there's not a ton. So it doesn't feel like you're wrecking your skin or gonna give yourself micro tears, nothing like that. It's really gentle, but it, I feel like every time I've used it in the shower, which really I've been using it every time I shower, my skin feels and looks rejuvenated. And I'm like, that is so cool because I feel like I always throw cleansers that I don't really care about in the shower because I don't wash wash my face every single time I shower because sometimes if I just recently washed it, I'm like, I don't want to strip my skin anymore, you know? But this is so nice. I'm trying to get Tyler to try it because it's, I'm like flabbergasted that I'd never heard of it. Next is uh, the Aveeno Creamy Moisturizing Oil. I had Tyler try this, my husband. And I've been using this, I am pregnant. <laughs> And I'm in my third trimester, so I've been really into oils and moisturizers and all kinds of stuff. Well, this is not something I'm using necessarily on my baby bump, although I totally would, but I've, I've kind of got a routine going. I will share with you guys here soon in the next few weeks, uh, specifically what have become like holy grails for me. So far, no stretch marks, although everything I every time I hear people telling about how they got them, they're like, yeah, I was so good. And then like I literally woke up one morning and overnight they were there and I'm like, okay. Anyway, okay, I'm ready. I'm like mentally preparing. This stuff is so nice. So I use it everywhere else on my body right now, and I love it on my hands. And, and Tyler, he's really particular about moisturizer, like body moisturizer, because he wants it to be like powder dry. Like once it's in, he wants it to set. He doesn't want to feel greasy. I totally get that feeling. Um, and this stuff, it's crazy because it's the moisturizing oil kind of a lotion and yet it does dry so quickly. And so it's felt so good on my dry knuckles just from winter and heat and all of that. And I am impressed. I will definitely repurchase this again after. And I totally bought this on a whim on Ulta's website. So those are all of the new products I've been trying from Ulta. Let me know what you've been trying from Ulta, any recommendations you have for my next haul um, in the future. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.